Hey Lacey, how you doing? All right, uh, created my prototype in, in XD. Good job. I wanted to get the, this up here for critique as early as possible. Um, I, you know, I tell you what, I, I I tried to get to this yesterday. I saw this, and I know that you wanted immediate feedback, but I got caught up in some grading and some other things that I needed to take care of. So I apologize. But at any rate, here we are. We've got your uh, your clickable prototype up, and we're going to take a look. Now, one thing that I'm a little uh, confused about is this is you're going to export and create an interactive PDF. Um, so I'm just wondering, are you is it going to be an interactive PDF or is it going to be an XD? Do, do you see what I'm saying? Um, you don't have to include both, of course. But, and the difference being is that, you know, this would be more of a, a high fidelity um, prototype. And then the, the clickable uh, PDF would be something like this, right? So I'm going to go over it. Note that the, there's no scrolling. Clickable PDF doesn't have as many features as the actual um, uh, you know, an actual uh, uh, high fidelity prototype. So, so just so that's known. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump over to your work and let's take a look. Okay, so first of all, I think it's 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 a really a fantastic start. I'm gonna reduce that screen size just a little bit so we can fit this in. Okay, now one thing I would recommend is is don't forget to mock up a phone or uh, the device that this is being used on, right? As we can see in this example right here, you've got that beautiful rendering of the iPhone. Um, so you may consider doing that. I, I, I think that'll really, really make a big difference. Note that your icons here are cut off a little bit right now. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're getting cropped right there on that, that last icon. So you, you want to reconfigure those so that they're all visible. Now, one of the things that we have here is we've got these, I'm just, I, I noticed that the home page always goes back home, right? But the one thing I, I, I do see is that a lot of the buttons go to the same page and that's going to be really confusing and really misleading. So for example, these all go to the featured artist page, right? And that's going to end up being really misleading or, or and or confusing. So what I would recommend is this, is that now these all go to the same page too. So what I would recommend is I'm not real sure if you intend on creating the rest of the pages for your uh, click-through prototype. But um, it, again, we just see that a lot of these are going to the same page. And again, just a little bit of confusion here. So um search what works great favorites works great okay yeah we're, we have some hiccups right here this is going back to the search page and this okay let's go back home and see what happens from here so all right yeah there's definitely some hiccups here so you you're, you're gonna want to yeah see what happens when we go to here to the favorites from home we get this page and we come over here and we go back to favorites and we just go to the search Do you see what i'm saying so there's a few hiccups in here but i'm going to go back home and what i what i want to see is okay so what i would recommend doing is this is cho choosing one specific task flow okay and you can do this whether you elect to use a high fidelity or a um a clickable pdf but what I would recommend is, as over here we see this is kind of a a, a, a a task flow, right? So this is the content screen. It's describing each of the clicks, and it only gives you really one area to click. So you're getting this descriptions as to where, how this task flow is, is, is being followed, right? So I think that's a really good way of doing it, of um, providing your clickable prototype. Either that or just make sure that these go to corresponding pages, okay? Um, and you don't have, you know, everything doesn't have to be a, a clickable link, okay? So in other words, you could go to the home page and you could start your task flow as, um, you know, this page is showing how to go to the Adobe Applications page or to the Design Principles page, right? So you would have, show an area to click here. You go to Design Principles, and that would be your Design Principles page. Then you would take the next task flow from there. So from here, we're going to go to, um, you know, whatever whatever page it is. You see what I'm saying? Uh, just like they're doing right here. So this is content screen. After user clicks is the video button, the screen appears as the video. Video is able to scale to full screen view. Then we click the next. This is a content screen tip through two 
content pop up. All right, we click the next page and it's just showing these these other screens and how we kind of get there. Do you see what I'm saying? So so that's what I'm seeing. Well, the main thing here is that we don't want confusion in the, the user prototype. And I know that you're just starting to, uh, to uh, execute the, the, the clickable user prototype. So I'm sure you have plans for this. But those are my recommendations, mainly is let's get that uh, uh, mock-up of the phone in here. And let's just make sure that these make sense. Okay, so if you were, if someone were to give you this clickable prototype to do user testing, um, you would probably get frustrated because, you know, a lot of these um, icons and a lot of these links go to the exact same page. Okay, it wouldn't make sense that the color theory page comes here and the uh, uh, design principle page goes to the same uh, location. Do, do you see what I'm saying? So I really want to just link these pages together in a way that makes perfect sense. Either that or choose one specific um, task flow uh, and, and just follow it through and give written descriptions as to what's going on and what screen we're, what screen we're on, the description of the screen, the description of the task, and where clicking this is going to take us. And then where, how we got here from here or how we got here, okay, and then where we're going from here. So I, see, I even think these descriptions are a little uh, uh, underdeveloped, okay? So at any rate, that's where we're at. So, so really great job so far. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any clarifications need to be made, just please let me know and I'll be glad to, uh, uh, to provide as such, okay? Great start. Thanks for kicking things off. That's definitely not always the easiest thing to do, so I appreciate that. All right, Lacey, thank you very much.